All right. I think I'm ready to try this again. <sighs> this morning did not go so well. I'm not even going to bother posting the video anywhere. Because uh, it was pretty bad. <laughs> I mean, it mostly it's just like I tried something and it didn't work. And I spent like an hour and a half on it. But that's okay. Uh, let's see. I need to probably... Uh, let's just quit Emacs and reopen it. It'll be better. It'll be better that way. Why are you opening it over there? In what world do I want Emacs on that screen? Ah, oh, goodness. Nice. You're in the right place, Purplish. You are in the right place. Uh, welcome. Thanks for the follow earlier, by the way. I don't know. I know you had to do some uh, work stuff once uh, Dolan raided me. But yeah, good times. Uh, it's all for the better. Uh, for the better? For the best? That's what I meant to say. Because uh, it got... it. I basically tried this whole thing this morning that didn't end up working. Uh, and that's called streaming in the morning when I'm not a morning person. <laughs> now that's kind of a joke, but also true. Um... I'm definitely not a morning person and streaming in the morning was rough okay let's see it's not picking up Emacs again gotta love that let's try this and that there we go there's that beautiful beautiful system beautiful operating system all right. Uh, what do you mostly use, Purplish? Like for your your job or studying or fun or whatever? What's your What's your core? What's your core proficiency? It's fine if I'm just in the background, too. You don't have to chat. Just wondering. Okay. Uh, so let's try this. I exited Emacs, so I know that I don't have any work stuff open. Nice. Good call on that one. And let's just go into our binary search tree. And we're actually just going to, uh, I'm going to undo basically everything that I tried to do earlier, but first we'll commit it just so that we still have it. Git C N B S T bad choices. Okay. Those were our bad choices. And now we're gonna revert. I have to revert. Can I just do head or do I have to do head minus one? No, yeah, that's right. You can just do head. Yep. So then we're gonna just revert it. And that way, if I ever wanna reference it, I can get back to it. That's the only reason I did it that way. Okay. <clears throat> So now we're back as to uh, <laughs> yeah. See, it's super rusty. I mean, it's old. Nice. Use Python, Java, JavaScript when forced. Yeah. Yeah, I feel you. 
yeah, I use Clojure for my job, which is, uh, you know, as far as a day job language, not bad. Uh, and then, uh, but I, I've used Java, JavaScript, TypeScript, you know, before this job quite a bit. <clears throat> oh yeah, this is the annoying thing is when I don't have a lot of chats here, it messes with my view. I always forget about this. So uh, we'll just plug random things until it fills up. There we go. Now, now chats will be easily visible. Okay, let's try this again. I know, right? It's part of the, part of the problem, you know. Small small streams, you know. You just you don't have people randomly spamming nonsense into your chat. Um. Ah. <sighs> okay. So. There's probably something kind of reorienting myself. I'm a little bit more awake than I was this morning. Uh, what's weird is I can like easily do work in the morning, no problem. But like talking to people, anyone looking at me, uh, and it turns out streaming is in that category. Uh, although there's a layer of indirection and uh, then yeah then my brain does does not does not work well with that and I, I think it's just the social aspect and realistically when I'm by myself you know of, of course there's there's less pressure right if, when you're not live coding but uh, also I uh, my frustration is is paramount in the morning yeah I actually find it easier to focus on work in the morning but it's like this quiet it's like my quiet time where I'm just quietly working by myself you know that whole thing tucked away in my office no one's gonna bother me I work at home you know, uh, and then I can get great work done. Um, but I, I did, I did a stream this morning as a test just because I got up super early today randomly. And I was like, oh, I'll test it out. See how I do. I know I, I know I can code in the morning, but it turns out streaming is too much of a social thing. Uh, so it brought up all oh, the same social challenges I have. <laughs> in the morning <laughs> well in general I have a lot of social challenges but in the morning they're even worse so it was it was a test <clears throat> so it's okay here we are we're in the afternoon uh, my brain is a little bit more awake in a way uh, maybe maybe my, my social my social brain is more awake Thanks, Purplish. I appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, I'm probably just being too hard on myself, which I do a lot. Uh, I was just really frustrated that I couldn't get the thing working, and then once I had it, like, almost all the way done, like the implementation of delete for the binary search tree, I realized that I didn't think about a key component of it that like made the entire implementation not work. So uh, I basically would have had to change the way that I was doing it anyway. Uh, so that was that was the second iteration. This was the first, and we're actually going back to the first iteration of delete, uh, which is so far just a much more complicated search. And we still need to actually delete the value, etc. Um, 
<clears throat> so I think this is yeah I think this is where I'm at and I think if I just do it all in this one function I'm gonna be a lot happier than trying to do something harder than that Yeah. There's probably something really nice that I just like am missing, but that's okay. That's 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 kind of on brand for me. <laughs> yeah, it takes it takes some doing. Uh, I'm getting there. I am getting there. I mean, we've done quite a bit. We've done quite a bit. I've learned a lot implementing all these data structures. So, you know, we're getting there. But sometimes the the noobness really comes out. Uh, so, you know, just little things sometimes too. Little things I forget. That's why you couldn't stream it, yeah. Oh, but that's literally my whole stream. My whole stream is me being like really frustrated. I mean, not quite, but like, oh man, there have been times where it's just like I spend two hours on something. I mean, this morning's not exactly an exception uh, in that sense, but like I'll spend two hours on something and just be like, man, this is still, this is still just shit. <laughs> but that's okay um oh yeah i forgot to tweet that i was drinking i should probably do that let's see redo redo stream or delete in a binary tree binary search tree in rust this morning was just a study in futility as an exercise, a teaching exercise, and what not to do. Absolutely. Uh, Twitch.tv, meta me, okay. Looks good. be very important for my huge following. All right, sick. We're done with that. I'm gonna try turning the music up a little bit for myself. See if it helps me. Yeah, it is really good, uh, Purplish, you're right. I mean, I I remember the first time actually like catching a prime coding stream and like the amount of frustration he ends up hitting, like <laughs> like and walls and stuff. I was just like, ah, I'm not alone. I'm not the only one that still struggles. Uh it's it is 
it is important and I mean eventually eventually I get it eventually we learn it and you know we we push through it which I think is is really a lot more realistic than uh, most programming content out there and it's partly why I've gotten really into streams both watching and streaming is I, I just think it's a lot more representative representative of what coding is actually like <laughs> versus this like polished YouTube video of let's do this I'm gonna show you how this tutorial works and it's like if that's all you see then you know you assume that everybody gets it right you know first try right <laughs> yeah. that's so fair that's so fair I mean when these things pass and I uh, and my tests pass and everything I I definitely have that that godlike experience <laughs> this is amazing I am awesome I did a doubly linked list in rust I'm incredible and then and then I do the next data structure and I'm like oh fuck I just totally suck at everything <laughs> uh, yeah <laughs> right <laughs> uh, so true so true oh man let's see Right, so basically right now, self is the parent. We're checking both branches, self.left and then self.right, to see if there is a match. If, there, if it doesn't match any of the values, it recurses down to the place that it thinks it should, based on, uh, you know, the sort uh, the the comparative between value and n dot value and then but if there is a match in one of the direct children this is when I actually want to do something and this is when I probably shouldn't have deleted all of my code and I'm glad I didn't because I'm actually still going to use specific parts of it. Um, so that's important. Yeah. Okay. All right, so basically then our main logic is going to be here. Uh, I could do something else that I don't feel like doing in order to make this a little bit terse, more terse, but uh, I'm not gonna worry about that for now. For now, let's just focus on making it work. So in this branch, hey, teeny, look at that redemption. Look at you getting first. How's it going? My dentist did cancel on me. You know, I was supposed to have a dentist appointment. I know. Dentist canceled. Just, you know. It it's hard to not take it personally after a while. No. Um he's just super busy. He ended up having an emergency surgery. I was just going in for a cleaning, so I uh I get to wait until tomorrow. So that probably means no stream tomorrow afternoon. Oh well. We'll see what happens. He might cancel again tomorrow. Um, 
but yeah, I uh, I did stream this morning, which was uh, disappointing. But I actually did write one function that I'm going to go find and copy back in here. I know. I know. It went terribly. It went terribly because I'm just, I mean, as you know, I'm very hard on myself, but I, I, uh, let's see, this should actually be, nope. What do I want to do? I want to go here and then here. This is just easier than having to go back and all this stuff. Wait, did I never push? I didn't push after I did that. Nope, that was my problem. Yeah, so this morning I I tried a more simple example, a more simple way to do delete, and it ended up just being a bunch of bad choices. Um, not really a bunch, but a few. <sighs> okay, so that code's there if I need it. But I'm not going to copy it yet because I want to make sure that it's actually correct. So I went back. I basically cleaned out that commit and, and started again. So here we are. Two streams in a day. All right. <clears throat> oh, the other reason I streamed this morning is because I woke up at 5:45, and so I was like done with all my stuff. Like I was, I was basically at the same point I usually am when I'm uh, when I'm getting ready to stream in the afternoon. So that was early. Uh, not fun. I mean, it wasn't bad. I kind of like waking up early, but it's not always easy to do with a, with a family and stuff. Okay. So we know that this is a match for value. We're on the left-hand side. Uh, what I want to do is... right yeah we have some several annoying things here <sighs> we have several annoying things here I think the way that I tried to do this before didn't make a lot of sense let me write this out I need to now get node from n dot left dot rightmost. Okay. If that node has children they would have children just on the left if that node we'll call it swap node if swap node has a left then all we have to do is move that up. Right. All we have to do is replace swap node with swap node dot left. Okay. This seems right. And then we have to set self 
Uh, basically, we then have to set, yeah, self dot left dot value to equal. Yeah, okay. S to equal swap node dot value. Okay, that seems right. Now there is the case where essentially swap node if it is directly, let me think. How does that work? Then replace swap node with swap node dot left. That makes sense, yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, set self dot left dot value equals swap node dot value. Um, all right, the case I was thinking of is where the swap node is directly to the left of the node we're deleting. We essentially just move the whole thing up by one. Right, because that means the swap node doesn't have any right children. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, I think we got it. I think we got it. We'll see if this makes any sense. Okay, so let's actually... Oh, that could work. That could actually work. I'm getting there. Just give me a second. Yeah, I think that could work. Oh. So instead of doing rightmost, we kind of want to, not instead of that, but we kind of want I would like a return of the actual option box node T that is pointed to by swap nodes parent. I think that's what I want. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that should actually work. Okay. So then we can go back to our browser. And I think I can just copy this over. And we'll just edit it a little bit so that it's looking down one instead of what it's doing right now. 
So basically, we're going to say, we kind of want to do this part first because if, if m dot left dot and then n is that what I'm thinking of uh Actually, what I want is, okay, let's start with this. I know if n.left is nothing, then we don't have to do anything besides move the right up one. Oh, that's a really good point. I didn't even put that. I didn't even put that part, is what we have to do with right. Okay, let me think about this. So we go left. Oh, Jesus. Why is this so hard for me? Um. I feel like I feel like I'm still missing an important piece of the algorithm here that I'm just not able to visualize in my head right now. Um hmm what do I want to do? Okay. Let's delete this for now. Okay. So the point is if the node. Let's go back here for a second. If our node does not have a left, but it has a right, all we have to do is set parent right to this. If our node is okay, if our node is a right and it doesn't have a left, then we just set parent node, you know, five dot right equals this node here that has eight. In it. Okay, that's not hard. Um, if our parent node. So let's just, no, I don't want to delete anything yet. I want to think about this first. Yeah, okay. And then if our parent node, so if our parent node, I'm sorry, if the node we're deleting does not have a left, like say if we were deleting this seven and the six wasn't here, then all we have to worry about is right. But that's if it's on the right hand side. If it was on the left hand side and it had a right and we were deleting it, like say this three, we go down here and we swap that and we delete this. Right, we don't even think about this. So why is that any different? Not really. Uh, let's just let's just think about this. So if we delete our six, that's there. And then if we delete our seven, we're just going to check is left none. If so, 
bring it up. And that's our right hand case. If it was on the left hand, we would say, like if we were deleting this one, it's actually the exact same thing. If left is none, then we just bring the one right up. So in that case, we're actually just swapping it out with right. Okay, yeah, that was the part I was missing. I mean, if it was in the left of the parent branch. So if I delete this one, that doesn't have a left, then I just move the right up. Like it's the same thing. Like there's no actual difference there. Uh, it's just that the swap node, so get swap node from in.left.rightmost, but basically the part that's wrong is here. It has to do with the parent because I have to assign the new value to the parent. Like I have to push that node up to the parent, right? So basically, I'm going to check if there's a left. If there's no left, then I'm going to just grab whatever is on the right and bring it up. And then that's all good. And, you know, obviously end our right could be nothing. Um, okay. And there's probably a more generalized case, which is basically that if, let me think about this. If we only have one branch, no matter what, it's valid to just replace it with the other branch. Okay, so basically what this means is if n.left is sum, then we probably want to just do the recur right. So let's just try n dot unwrap dot recur right. We'll have to fix this a little bit, but it's fine for now. Else if n dot right actually we can just say else n dot right absolutely we're unwrapping else n dot right okay i know those are different types but i have to think about but that's why i actually want to change my recur right to be an option uh box self okay okay which i need to change how this works in order to make that work It's basically going to say if self.write.isSum, 
then we want to just return self.write. And if not, let me think about this. So in dot left dot is some in dot unwrap dot recur right. Uh huh. Except that's wrong. That uh, this is in dot left dot unwrap dot recur right. Okay. There's probably a nicer way to put this, but for now, let's just say none. Let me just think about this. If self.write.is, uh, oh, but then there's no recursion. <laughs> How do I get to the recursive case here? <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. This is the part that's annoying. If self.write dot is some. Oh yeah, this is the annoying part. Okay. This is so dumb, but I'm just going to write it out because I can't think of something better right now. <sighs> it's really annoying. And then self.write dot unwrap dot is sum nope dot write dot is sum. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. So then we're just gonna say if self dot write dot unwrap dot write is some. Um, oh god, it's so ugly. Else, we're just gonna return self dot write, and here we can actually recur and it's really dumb and i need to think of something better because obviously i'm checking if this is sum twice <sighs> but i'm trying to figure out what my base case is yeah exactly it's really ugly but it's okay for i i'm having enough trouble with the actual logic that I need to not worry about how pretty the code is. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the right the right logic though. So even though I'm doing double checks, I'm okay with it for now. Okay. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna need this find swap at all because I'm changing how I'm doing this. I mean, I guess I could return. Let's see. Can we encapsulate a little bit of the logic here that I was writing down here? I don't know if I can yet. I'm just not going to worry about it yet. So let's just um, block it out for now. Whoops. Whoops. So hard when I have my mouse on my editor and then I can't actually see where my effing cursor is. Okay. Skill issue. For sure. All right. So let's forget about that function for now. And We'll just work out the logic here and then we can put it out into another function if we want to later. 
So if left is sum, then we're going to recur right. Uh-huh. Now, the only thing I'm not seeing, if self dot right dot is sum, okay, yes. Uh, right, so that's the next part. So then I'm going to say if, uh, well, let's put it into a, let's put it into a actual value. Let right most equals this. And then we're going to say if rightmost dot is sum then rightmost else it's actually just n dot left else and I right okay let's swap node equals all right if dot in left dot left dot is sum in dot left dot unwrap it's giving me an error because I'm moving I don't need to move I should be able to just say as mute. Uh, do you have a function to find the successor inheritor of the node that we want to delete or the logic already included in the delete? Um, yeah, that's the logic that we're kind of we're kind of writing right now is like what we're actually uh, so the, it depends on what you mean by the, so right now we're writing the logic to find the successor, which I'm basically calling the swap node. <laughs> and then, um, the self in our current function is the parent of the node that we're deleting. So if that answers your question, hey, Maida. Um, yeah. So swap node, if n dot left dot is sum, then we find the rightmost. If rightmost is sum, we return rightmost. Else, we return n dot left. Else, we return n dot right. Now, why is my indentation weird? Okay, it was just because it was weird. Okay, let's do this and then Cannot move out of n.left, which is behind a mutable reference. Yeah. That's fine. So we have option box node T. And what do I want to do here? To get rid of this. I could do as mutes, but then I might hate it later on, but it might be the right choice. So sure, let's do an as mute. And that means we're gonna have to do this as mute and this is mute. I think that would end up giving us all the right type. No. Um, what's wrong with this? Oh, right. I didn't declare it as mutable. Uh, it's fine. We do need rightmost to be mute in order to delete it.
did I do something wrong that I'm just spacing about? Oh, it's because I already declared it as buyer, borrowed value does not live long enough. Hmm. Oh no, this isn't looking good for me. This isn't looking good for me. Expected, okay. Uh, option box, found option and mute. Okay, yes, I get that. Um, I know that I can't move it out. Maybe I need to reference my linked list implementation to see if I'm just like spacing on a nice way to work with boxes. Because I could be. Like when we do this pop front stuff, we did a lot of takes, which really made it simple because we were happy just replacing those things with none. But what I was hoping to do is to replace Yeah. I was hoping to replace some things, so that's part of the problem. But I think what I actually should do is maybe if I do a take here, I can make it work. But let me just think about this. No, that's not going to work either. <laughs> Memory place. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, uh, option has a replace on it, which is nice. Uh, it's a nice function, but I, I have to do it in the right order. And I think that's what I'm kind of spacing on. And it's kind of like been the thing that I haven't completely understood, I feel like, is the right order to do all this in. Uh, but it also could just be because here I'm again fighting with the borrow checker a little bit. Oh well. Um, just write that and we're back at the same problem that is not returning the same type. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, ideally, let me just think about this. This left here. So if rightmost is sum, otherwise we just have node dot left. Node dot left. So the the consequence of taking n dot left in this case is that node dot left would now be none. We're getting rid of the known any the node anyway. So it actually doesn't matter. So I actually think what I want here is to take it. And then I think what I want here is also to take it. And then that gets rid of my type errors. And we'll see if the logic is correct. Because in both of these cases, by taking that, that value, all I'm doing is replacing the sum with a none. Um, and all that's really doing is setting this n, which is the one we're going to delete, we're setting the n dot left to none or the n dot right to none. And that doesn't matter because we're getting rid of it anyway. So this is actually now a lot closer to the way that I did it in my linked list, which is I'm taking ownership of these values. We're taking it out of the node that we don't care about anymore. And now we can hopefully do something with it. 
Let's hope this 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 logic continues. Okay. Now with rightmost. Okay, now we're having issues with rightmost, which I expected. I just have to think of how we could do it here as well. I was kind of hoping that I wouldn't have to take in the sense that I was hoping I didn't have to mess with the structure here. Uh, the idea of returning the option of box self as it is, was kind of that I did want to take ownership of it. So let me just think about this. Taking this option here really just means that its parent would now say self.write is none. And so if we go back to our browser real quick. Oh, we all know what's happened now. Oh, OBS, my fair weather friend. I'm gonna try something here. Nope. What if I go into file? What if I go into OBS preferences and I just like hit hotkeys and then I say, OK. And then it's going to magically decide, you know what? Hotkeys are going to work again. Nope, it didn't do that. OK, let's just look at this real quick. So the point is, um, maybe I should change something. Let me just try that real quick. I know it's boring because you guys can't see anything. I'm going to change a hotkey, something that doesn't matter. Screenshot output. Okay, okay, we can change this. We're gonna call this Hyper A. Perfect. Okay, done. Totally gonna work now. Here we go. Nope, still doesn't work. Okay, we tried. Let me remember the logic I was about to test. All right, whether we could take our rightmost node. I'm pretty sure we can. It was a nice try. At least I tried. So say we want to delete this node here. Now, technically, if we said delete five, it would end up deleting the first five I've found, which is this one. We'll just pretend that's not true for a second. By taking the node, all I'm doing is I'm setting this to be none, which is actually what I'm going to want to do anyway. Right? Yes. It is right. And if there is a left here, what's going to happen to that left? I should know the answer to that. Like if I delete this Oh, it's just going to swap out. Okay. Okay. So that's what I need to do here. So recur right is a terrible name. All right. Changing the scene, changing the scene. You guys will probably have to remind me, especially without keyboard shortcuts. This morning, like, again, I'm not even going to post the video from this morning for several reasons. One is I'm not even going to use the code that I wrote for the most part. But the other reason is I spent about 20 minutes with my view on my browser while I was writing code. It was probably 15. But it was sad. And I don't understand where the fuck was teeny no i'm just kidding um <laughs> all right <laughs> wait what what do you mean that's how you found me 
Like, uh, what do you mean by that? <laughs> is that like a discoverability trick? Is is me having my browser on the the wrong thing? Oh man. Here we go. First time I joined the stream, you were in the wrong scene. <laughs> That's not surprising. That's not surprising. I kind of remember that. I kind of remember it. And it became a thing. It became a thing so much that, like, we'll just do this because the counter is not wrong because it should have happened like 18 times this morning. But, uh, yeah. I wish I could tell myself. I should have like a reminder if I'm on the browser scene. I should have like an alert that pops up somehow. That would not be easy to implement, but I should have an alert that's like, what are you doing? Are you sure? Um, or maybe I just need like a marquee at the top of my desktop that's just like, check the scene. That would be, that would be pretty good. We could try. OBS plugin to print random things to alert alert me. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we're actually fine to just take. So our base case is actually this right here. And this, I think we should be able to do this. I hope it's gonna let me. If not, we just might have to change some things. Okay, good. Self dot right dot as mute dot unwrap dot right dot is some. It's very straightforward logic, guys. Very straightforward. <laughs> or you can just type scene. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hybrid low or IO. I can't. I'm not sure which one it is. Is that a capital I or a, or an L? Um, I am happy with hints. Um, it do be an L. Okay, hybrid low. Cool. Uh, you know, with tech, you just never know. Um, I'm happy with hints as long as they're not like overboard and telling me exactly how to do like something, especially if it's larger. But if it's like, you should look into this function here, totally happy. Or like, hey, actually, if you just did a reference, you would be happier. Um, I don't know how long you've been hanging out, but like I did, I did, I have commented many times that this code that we're looking at right now is extremely bad and ugly, and I'm just trying to get the logic right right now. But if you have like a, a basic hint, that's cool. Um, hopefully that makes sense. I feel like giving a hint is different than backseating, right? It's different than being like, why would you do it that way? That way's stupid. You should do it this way, you know? But like a little hint here and there, that can be that can be good. Yeah, totally. Yeah, I'm like um I'm like 3 months into Rust and uh not full time, obviously. Like I don't write Rust for my job. Um and there's a lot that I still don't know. And I, I don't have uh, always the best intuition of like, oh, I know this is going to satisfy all of the things that I want. Um, so there's that as well. Okay.
Yeah, nobody actually writes Rust for their job. Uh, that is a myth. It is. It is a. Uh, it is a classic. It's a classic myth. Um. No. If if you work in blockchain, then you write Rust for your job, and you get paid in blockchain. There's that one guy. <laughs> I know. I mean, there's there's a reasonable amount of Rust jobs out there, but not a lot, not tons. Uh, I say reasonable amount because you know I was like, uh, you know, before I was looking for like Haskell jobs, and I'm like, oh yeah, compared to Haskell, there's lots of Rust jobs. <laughs> Yeah, so I I'm glad you mentioned that. Um, yeah, right. It's a matter of perspective, right, Teeny and Prepolish. It's like it's like well, if you're if you're thinking about it in terms uh, relative to Haskell, so many Rust jobs out there. Market is just rich. Uh, that's funny. Uh, yeah, so I started with iflet. I really do like iflet syntax. I even started with some matches. Uh, well, I have a match here, which is working just fine. Um, well, let's try it right here. Okay, let's let's try a little. Uh, let's look at an, a simple example and see if it works or not. Because I was having an issue where if I used a match statement or an if let, similar construct, right? Uh, similar behavior even, you could say. I was getting borrow checker complaints where if I just checked is some, I was not. Um, so, Maybe you guys can uh, can figure that out. Let me make sure I don't have any other type errors. Okay, everything looks good. Let's just build it. Make sure it builds. It does. And then uh, let's let's try that out real time. Cause I was dealing with that some this morning, and then I was just kind of like, gosh, I wish, I wish I knew. Or maybe it was yesterday. I don't remember. I'm bad with times. I'm bad with most things. Let's be real. You know, okay, so let's try this with with if let and we'll see how how it goes. All right, so let's just do a new a new recur write function again. Bad name. I didn't write that comment yet. Bad name. Not what it does really. Okay, we're, we're happy now that I wrote that. Recur write new. We're gonna do an unmute self. We're gonna return an option box self. How long have you been writing Rust hybrid low? It doesn't matter if it's a long time or not. You could certainly know more than me without writing Rust for a long time. <laughs> but I just, you know, conversation, right? We're just asking. Just just wondering what, what your background is. Um, over a year now? Sick. Very cool. Okay, so if we do a little if let sum uh, n equals <laughs> final, final. Uh, it's so bad. Uh, yeah, I mean, in closure, we just add symbols to the end. So we would just instead of new, we just like if I needed another one, we just do a star because we can use like any ASCII. Uh, all right, let's see. Yeah, that's still ASCII. Yeah, yeah, we can use any ASCII symbols in function names, which is pretty great. Um. 
if let sum n equals self dot write, then self dot, oh wait, right? And then I'm going, I have a nested, which, you know, is probably something that doesn't make a hell of a lot of sense, but that's okay. Uh, let's do another one. Well, let's just start with this one. We'll start with this one, and then we can probably get rid of the really ugly one. Self dot recur right. Else. Self dot right dot two. Um, uh, else, no. Okay, I know we're gonna get a borrow checker, or at least something. No method named unwrap. Well, yeah, that's because it's not there, man. I know that. I know because it's, I already unwrapped the optional, silly, silly Michael. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now it's going to say that set right is moved here, right? I get that. I understand. That makes sense to me. I can't... So in my link list, I didn't have to, like, recur down anything, you know? It's just all one directional. So I could just do a take here, and then all of my problems were fine, like, solved, right? Um, where here... Uh, let's think about this. If I take a reference, wait, is that not how I do it? I, I probably want to do it on the other side. Hold on. Then problems. So let's say I say as ref, right? Okay. We're okay. Is that really all I needed to do? Because it's not like I really need the value. Hold on. This is me. Like, sometimes I get stupid. Sometimes I get stupid. Okay. And I get confused between... I think the other time I was matching on self. That's what it was. See, I wasn't matching on something that, like, was part of self. I think I was matching on self, which was keeping that... That was it. Okay. I'm thinking about it. All right. Yeah, so I was matching against self not a field on self. And so then it was keeping that mutable reference alive to self for the entire expression, where here uh, it's not because I'm just reaching into, I'm not getting, I'm not keeping that mutable reference alive, right? I just have a reference. Okay, okay. We'll get there. Just give me a second. I actually don't want to change this next one because it's actually correct and I don't actually care about what the value inside of n is. I'm just saying go ahead and recur right. Otherwise, self.write.take, otherwise none. Okay. That's a lot nicer, isn't it? I mean, don't you? Wouldn't you rather have self dot write dot as mute unwrap write as some? I mean, it makes Java developers feel better. All right. That is basically it. It would make more sense to do equals and self dot right. Okay, okay. I always get confused where I can actually use ampersands and that's definitely another like noob thing as far as intuition goes. Uh, because then I, I'm like, I think the problem is that I still would do something. Okay, I want a reference to self dot right and then I'd start doing something with self dot right and then I just get used to just saying as ref. 
I know that doesn't work for all types, but in this case it, it would work, right? Uh, but it just, just depends, right? If as ref as a trait is implemented, if I'm correct on that. So yeah, thanks. Um, okay. So let's get here and say, good job hybrid low for giving us something nicer to work with. And that looks good. Okay, cool. And let me just make sure there's not any other, not what, not what it does, not what it does. Okay, sorry, typo, typo in comments. Um, cool. We're going to just keep it as recur, right? We're not going to worry about, worry about names. I've had to say that to myself like 15 times. <clears throat> and I made a note that it's a bad name. So I think we have a chance. We have it. There's a chance that we will fix it. <laughs> and uh, I'll just point out like you guys are you guys are kind of missing out so far. I mean, do you not want Internet fame? That's what I'm wondering. All you have to do, all you have to do is claim it in channel points. You know, get on the leaderboard. Um, Teeny's on top of it. <laughs> I just think it's funny and it's kind of fun. Whoops, I don't want to paste that. I don't want to see that function ever again. I'm going to do a remove from get history that I even wrote that function. All right. Um, yeah, Teeny recommended the, the, uh, the bad cop, uh, Twitch plug in there that we, that we put, put in. It's pretty cool. Pretty fun. Okay. Yes, I think we did that. And now we have our swap node and we own it. We own that shit. We've replaced it with none, which is totally fine. Um, so we go left and we go all the way right. Yes. And if there's no left, we just have right. We don't have to think about rights children, but we do in the rightmost case we do have to think about rightmost children. We have to think about making sure that the parent of rightmost <laughs> is updated. Yes, I believe this is correct. Do I have that written down here? If swap node has a left, then replace swap node with swap node dot left. Okay, yes. And we know it's not gonna have a right. So we already took it. Oh, this is the part that I got a little confused about. Is where am I yeah, Rust is a lot. Like, I mean, even like people I know that like have used very good. Even even though people very good user, um, 
even people I know that are very good developers or engineers or whatever, uh, they still usually say like, it's like six months of like kind of going through it to really, to really feel comfortable in the language. I have my moments where I'm like, ah, actually this is feeling comfortable. Like I know what I'm doing here. I can just keep going. But there's these sorts of things, lots of mutation, lots of swapping things around, having to think about ownership a lot where like it really slows me down uh, to think about it all at this point. Um, okay. If n.left.is sum, n.left.asmute.unwrap.recur, right? <laughs> okay, so we could actually fix this with that same if let sort of thing, right? In that we should... Oh, there's a reason I didn't want to do that. I remember that now. I don't know if it's going to be valid once I'm actually done with this function. Okay, let's just keep going so that I don't freak myself out. No matter where we have all this, it doesn't matter if it's all the way down or whatever. If swap node has a left, then we replace swap node with swap node dot left. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 35 lines of of uh, working Rust is probably not quite not quite where where Rust is going to make sense. <clears throat> that didn't hit right. <sighs> One second. If I drink more, I'm sure it will fix it. Oh yeah, that helped a lot. Okay, we're all good. This is where I feel like I've already done something wrong because my whole point in keeping it in the option box node T structure and not taking <laughs> was that I could easily swap out the left at the time. But once I take, I no longer can do that. So I think what I actually want to do is, instead of taking, I want to replace with something else. So if I remember how replace works, which I've used already in this implementation, Returning the old value if present. It's going to give me a box node T, which is totally fine. I'm happy with that. We're good with that. But what I want to replace n.left with is n.left. And we know it exists in this case, dot, because map, map's not gonna do this. No, map is not actually replacing anything. There might be a better function for this. I'm just working on it. Okay, we'll just, we'll just go with this and see what happens. N dot left dot replace, N dot left dot unwrap, dot left 
Okay. I know that's not the right type. That's fine. Um, for rightmost, I actually want to do that in my function up here. Because then I don't have to think about it anywhere else. So instead of this, I should just make an actual method for this, shouldn't I? But let's just keep going. Self dot write dot if n dot write is sum. Self dot write dot replace self dot write dot unwrap dot left. Oh no, you don't like me now. What did I do? Expected struct box found enum. Oh, right. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, option. Box. The return type of this call is option box binary due to the type of the argument passed. Is it just because I'm returning, since I'm returning Come on, come on. I can remember how to use this. Is it just this sort of thing? Because it's returning the value? No. Ooh, what am I not, what am I not thinking about? Maybe I just need to build this. Let's, uh, let's do this. just so that that type error doesn't screw us over. And let's start here. This is a good, this is a better place to start anyway, because there's less dependencies. Oh, what terminal am I using today? It's to unwrap the left there. Uh, oh. You're right. That's the thing I didn't... Okay, let's build this. <sighs> Consider removing the tuple struct field left. Right. <laughs> let's... <laughs> That's funny. Uh, is there a better error message that would have shown me this? Expected box node T found option box. Yeah, obviously. Because this is an option. Uh, which is not what I want. The thing is, I don't know that left exists. Um, but there's got to be a nice way of doing that that I'm just spacing on I'm sure of it I guess I could actually just do unwrap or none I didn't think about that that's not a terrible idea. Oh, wait, no, but it's not unwrap or none. Um, self dot write dot replace. Oh, that's interesting. So this is the part that I'm not unwrap or Okay, nope, nope, this doesn't make sense. Uh, I know I could do it with another... 
another thing, but I just don't want to. Um... But, like, map doesn't do the thing I want it to. Right? It doesn't actually change anything. Yeah. It doesn't. Okay. Oh, but I could do... Uh... Let's see. No, I still can't. I can't make this a nun without checking. Okay, we're just going to continue making this grocer. How about that? Um, if self dot right dot um. I know self dot right is some, right? Yeah. So, so, oh, I don't need this. I can just do in. <laughs> okay. If dot, if in dot right dot is sum, da da da, if in dot right, no, left, in dot left dot is sum, then do this. Okay. If and uh, left dot is some um, that. Okay. Let me just make sure these Slack messages aren't important. I kind of missed them at some point. I'm guessing that they probably aren't. Okay, nope, just a bunch of people talking. Exciting. Okay, so then we say if n dot left dot is some, um, we replace it. It's not ideal. Uh, we um we replace it with self dot right dot unwrap dot left dot unwrap. <laughs> aren't you glad you're here for this um hybrid low aren't you happy that you're here for this right now okay okay it doesn't like me and that's because i've now entered okay i don't need this right i can just do an in dot left dot unwrap i'm pretty sure that's the thing that i don't need okay you're loving it good oh man okay this is fine I don't care about all that. It's behind a shared reference. Yes. And so to unwrap it, can I just unwrap it as a ref? I can't. Or, no. Can I unwrap it as a mute? No. <laughs> That's what it told me to do. <gasps> Oh, because then when I unwrap, it's a reference to those things. Okay, that's okay. Give me a second. I'm replacing self.write.replace, right? I'm replacing n with left. So this is another example where I can just take. Okay. 
That's what I need. That's what I need. Um, cannot borrow n dot left as mutable as it is behind a and reference. Okay. So now if I do an as mute, can it give me a mute? No. Ah, uh, I think I need to go back to where we were before. And if I do see the problem with and mute, I could be wrong. Well, let's just try it. Yeah. So then what it's gonna tell me is I'm actually, I have that mutable reference and then it's like the same thing I ran into earlier where I have a mutable reference in my if let, and then I am getting another immutable reference by doing a replace. And so it's saying I can't have both. And this is what if, that's the difference in some ways between the behavior of if and if let, because in an if statement, it's ugly, it's long, but you know, like that borrow goes away <laughs> right after it's done with the conditional. Um, okay, so let's just go back to this where we say self dot write dot unwrap dot left dot take dot unwrap. No, still doesn't like it. Borrow of self dot write occurs here ah okay i was wondering if this would happen but that's fine i believe what i can actually do is just put it here and we'll just say let l Ooh, i probably could have done this up in an maybe an if let is better in this case we'll, we'll do it this way first self dot right dot unwrap dot left dot take dot um, we'll just do the whole thing and then it will actually be faster to just retype this and <laughs> Yeah, graph-like structures, I mean, they're, they're painful in a lot of languages, but Rust makes them extra painful. Okay. This makes sense to me. And this is where... Move occurs because self.write has type, which does not implement... Yeah. Consider calling to borrow the type's content, but I can't. This might be where an as mute works because I technically don't have a mutable reference to self.write at this point. Yes. Okay. So just for people to follow along with how we had to satisfy the borrow check. and this is something I've ran into quite a few times. Uh, it is a lot more common, I would say, for functional programmers like myself to uh, want to put calls to other functions inside, like, past inside a, a function, right? Kind of like I, I do right here that I commented out. Very common. Um, because of the borrow checker and the compiler needs to understand what's happening <laughs> you basically have to help the compiler by assigning something to a value and then you before you use it again and the reason that's not always the case the reason it's it is in this case is because right here i'm getting a mutable reference to self.write in order to reach in that data structure and pull out the left right <laughs> the left right um since that happens on line 43 the compiler says 
okay, that mutable reference is done. We don't, we're not using that anymore, which then allows me to get another mutable reference. And again, you can't have two mutable references at the same time. Cardinal rule and rust. And now I can get that other mutable reference and do my replace and everybody's happy besides my extremely ugly code. <laughs> okay, so that that part is uh, not exactly what I wish it was. Um, but it, it's kind of what we have to do. Yeah, it's very similar to what we hit with our linked list. Um, it doesn't mean that there's not a better way to do it that I just don't know. But yeah, it, that's a that's a really nice terse way of saying it, hybrid low. We can't have two mutable references in one statement. Like, if you have two mutable references in one line, even if you think it should make sense, it doesn't to the compiler. <clears throat> so that's that um okay so that's that ugly as sin we're gonna leave it like it is and move on at least we got it working we know that we've replaced we've we've fixed our structure here and now that we know how that works we can do it everywhere else. And that actually brings me to the point that we probably can just put this in a method and especially with how ugly it is, I would really like to. So let's just try, let's just try doing something. We'll just call it replace with left. How does that sound? And replace with left is going to take a mute self and this might not work but we're going to try it and it's going to return an option box self <sighs> one too many arrows okay so let's just start here and say let l equals um, let's see self is self dot right and it's already mutable and we would have already unwrapped it at this point So it should just be self dot left dot take dot unwrap. Okay. And then we're going to say, oh yeah, you can't just do replace self dot replace. That doesn't make sense. I can't replace myself. Ah. So. Uh, Oh yeah, we're getting into C-sharp territory right here. You know you like it. Oh yeah, this is getting good. This is getting real good. Enterprise software, baby. I only work for small companies on purpose, but at this point, I think I just proved my skills. I just proved my enterprise skills big time. Okay. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's so gross. <laughs> but that's why we hide it in a, in a method, which is somehow less gross when we say this. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> uh, 
Oh god. It's like just slightly less bad. I know. It's slightly less bad. There's probably like a really like idiomatic name for this for people that actually have CS degrees and they're like are or are academics more likely. I'm like, well, I mean that that function's just called this. Why don't you just call it that? Um but that's not me, unfortunately, or fortunately. I'll let you decide. Okay. Oh no, this isn't the same thing though. <laughs> this is, this is replace, this is replace left with left, right? Oh no, this is replace left with left? Oh, come on. Really? Oh gosh. I didn't want to do RC ref cell, but I actually kind of like, I, I kind of regret it. And obviously like there's, you know, performance degradations, all those kinds of things with it, or so they say, uh, you know, but uh, I was like, okay, I got my type to work with a box, so we should be good. <laughs> <laughs> but um we do use rc ref cell in uh our doubly link list because you know we need those multiple references <sighs> okay replace right with left child and I'm going to do replace left with left child just to get around some of this for now I'm just going to do it we're just going to bite the bullet and just pretend like this isn't some of the worst code we've written on stream left with left child and that's already done and then this is going to be yeah it's a fun exercise I mean it's really the point I mean I'm learning a lot about of course Rust syntax Yeah, correct. We are we are finding the rightmost of the left subtree. Um, yeah. So rightmost of the left subtree is what this does, basically. Um, and then it does the re the replacing for once we find that node, and then we return it out. Um, I thought I had a name for that, but I still don't, so it's fine. I I mean, I had a nicer way to do it, like, but uh, it wasn't. If I was doing this not in an impl on the node type, and I was just doing it in functions, it would actually be cleaner code. This is true because I would just recur on the actual option box self type and I think it would make it a lot nicer. Uh, and I might change it to that, but I just kind of wanted to see if I could do it this way and how bad it was. And so far it's pretty bad because ideally you're not recurring, like in a language with nulls, this wouldn't be nearly as troublesome in a way 
you know? I mean, there's lots of troubles. I'm not a fan of Null, don't get me wrong. But I just mean uh, to impl on this type. But, um... Yeah, basically this is what I should be recurring over. And instead I'm recurring down and using everything on and on the actual node. And that's actually making it a lot less ergonomic uh, for me. <laughs> the user won't care, but it's a lot less ergonomic for me. Okay, so we finally have our swap node. We've fixed its children to be where they're supposed to be. Um, it works if... Um, hold on. Let me think about this. Oh yeah, that's that's the problem that we're at. In recur right, we had to do is in.left. Dot that is some so that's actually something we could we could do here uh, is add that into our methods up here that would be better for sure um, And I probably could do something else that's nicer than this, but we'll just pretend that I can't for now. Um, let's see if I remember how to type. <clears throat> I have like 10 minutes left, just to let you guys know. Okay. So this is going to be if self dot left dot as mute dot unwrap dot left dot is sum and I know I can fix this to be nicer in a second just, just give me a second then we do this right else might help if I knew how to type else we just do self dot left dot take okay that is I hit end <laughs> on my keyboard that's that's where we're at okay and then um Go here, there, and there. Okay, let's see. That compiles. Now let's see if we... What we probably can do is this already like assumes, of course, that these exist. Um, which is fine. Uh, I guess we could document that real quick. Assumes that self dot left dot is sum. Okay. And assumes that self dot right dot is sum okay doc strings yay hybrid low thanks for the follow i didn't realize you weren't following me thanks um i appreciate it we're gonna we're gonna continue on this journey um i was thinking that we could, of course, 
do something like this, but it's like, does that does that really do much for us? We could do if let. I think if let would work. Because if I just take a reference to it. Oh right, but then it's going to it's not gonna let me take it. We're just gonna leave it like it is. It's ugly. But it compiles. Right, dot as new dot unwrap dot left dot is sum uh, d j paste else self dot right dot take. Okay, so those are better. Um, okay, and that's fine, and then that takes care of, we don't have to do any special checks down here. We moved all of that. Okay. We now own our swap node and we took care of this. Uh, set self.left.value equals swap node.value. Okay, that's fair. Um. Oh, that's true. Here we don't actually know if right is sum. I just realized that. Mm-hmm. We don't know if right is sum. So let's just say, we'll just do an else if. Else none. And not right, that is some. Um... Yeah, that's fine. Fine for now. Uh, set self.left.value equals swap node.value. Okay. So let's think about where we're at. We just... Cool. Thanks, hybrid low. See ya. Thanks for hanging out. Um, just about to sign off here anyway but uh let's see set self dot left dot value equals swap node dot value okay so we already took the children from the left hand side we know that none of the the swap value is not going to have any right children i already took care of the left children the left branch so at this point i think all that there is to do is set self dot left dot value. I think that will work to swap node dot value. All of the things on the right, because we that preserves our right tree our right branch and it preserves our left branch. Yeah, so that's what we want to do. So we already have a mutable reference to n. So basically we can just say n.value equals 
swap node dot value. Okay, and then we return our value that we searched for. Turn searched value. Or deleted. Deleted. Okay. No field value on type option box. Oh yeah, right. Um, that's true. And that's because, oh, right. So if there's no children, then we don't have to do anything. All we have to do is say self dot left dot uh, self dot left equals none, basically. Okay. It's probably a nicer way to do this. Are you guys tired of me saying that yet? Okay. Is that basically me apologizing a little bit? If self dot value, no, not what I meant to say. If swap node, <laughs> how do you have enough channel points to redeem that every day? <laughs> um, if swap node dot, um, is some. If swap node is sum, then this. Else. We're just going to say self dot left equals none. I don't know if we can do that, but we'll try it. Okay, no field value, right, because we didn't unwrap it yet. Nice. I think this is fine. Now, since we own the swap node, we actually can just do this. If let sum n equals um, Box node T <laughs> Well that's not gonna work, is it? Swap <laughs> Swap in. I mean we uh Sure. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> Okay, but it looks like that works. Cool, it builds, it compiles, therefore it absolutely works. There's no way that there's any bugs in this code. <laughs> total first try, total first try. Now, of course, I didn't actually do it on the right branch yet. <laughs> I just did it on the left branch. Obviously, there should be a nice way for me to abstract this out. <laughs> Shh, don't, don't say anything. All right. All right. What do we can? What, what what can we say now? We can say left to done, right to do. All right.
and then uh yeah you know i didn't know trees would be this this bad i always i always come into this with like some fair naivety that are like ah this is gonna work out <laughs> yeah right yeah just invert yeah and and then it's like okay uh what are you gonna do about rebalancing you gonna do you gonna do avl you gonna do red black no no i'm not I'm not gonna do any of that maybe someday right bst delete on left absolutely works no doubt okay Awesome. <laughs> uh, cool. Well, hey, thanks for hanging out. Uh, I'm glad that I had time to stream today. Again, I'm not supposed to stream tomorrow unless the dentist cancels yet again. It's always possible. Uh, I will not be streaming tomorrow morning, even if I wake up early, because I just, I just can't do it. I'm just not enough of a morning person. Uh, I tried. It didn't work out well. Uh, but either way, I'll see you on Wednesday. Should actually work out. If not tomorrow, by some grace of of our dentist. Um, our dentist, since I use cl collective pronouns. Uh, apparently, whatever makes you happy, right? All right. Let's just see if there's anybody on a raid with our big old four. Anybody we should raid with four people? All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look. I know it's late for some of y'all's, some of y'all's. Um, whoops, I took the wrong Twitch screen over. I took my stream dashboard, that's not helpful. See ya, Hameda, see ya, Teeny. Purplish. Thanks. Let's go over here. Little Twitch homepage. I doubt all those people are streaming, but like my raid, when you click raid on, on stream manager, it doesn't show you very many people that are actually streaming. Um, okay, cool. Brooke Zucker is streaming. We'll raid him. I don't think, I don't remember if I raided him recently. So we shall do that. Brook Zerker. All right, see you guys. <laughs>